Hey, it's Ocean, and welcome back to another episode of Love Sick. And this episode is going to be a little bit more chill, a little bit more gameplay than the other episodes. Um, and I also feel like it may even slightly be a little bit longer, only because it's been about two weeks since we last filmed. It's literally 10.44 at night, and she's experiencing some morning sickness right now. I'm so sorry, Liz. This is going to be a little chatty, okay? I'm not going to lie, because I want to address some things. Like, I had received a comment on the last episode um, that didn't like the fact that or not that they didn't like it but they were super confused as to why I had Liz keep the baby um I am telling this from the perspective of my sim and their their being their their personality Liz did not want children she never planned to have children especially with the type of childhood that she experienced she would never want to bring a child in this world and obviously is more concerned of herself <laughs> than anything else like some people just don't want kids originally and that's okay now when i tell stories this could be from someone else's experience or this could be from mine me personally just opening up here i didn't want kids and three kids later here i am and i'm literally like mom and get and would have more if I could I love when you guys get connected I love when you guys get um, into the story and you question the storytelling you question Liz's motives everyone's motives and you tell me you hate this person you love this person I love that but what I really find really hard doing is telling a certain story and being sensitive with it and then maybe it's not being perceived that way when it comes to pregnancy miscarriage abortion all of these talks you know all of these conversations within this i don't mind talking about any of that and liz knew that she had options and i explained that very well she was upset because she had options and she went to her mom and got this advice and her mom said you know you do have options but really think about your decision but she supported her regardless and liz honestly did not know what to do in the beginning and i had to squeeze months of emotions in a 30 minute episode so i just hope that it was perceived well because again like no she didn't want kids but liz decided to keep the baby no she didn't just keep the baby because of alden no she doesn't know who the father is but she wanted to give this baby a chance and she doesn't really feel connected to the baby but she felt like she had to suddenly take ownership of what she has done it's in the back of her mind that she knows she did something wrong she cheated on alden but at the same time she's like i have something that is mine and only mine alden did not influence her decision to keep the baby um because even before she told him she was still in limbo she had no idea what to do which is why the first person she ran to was her mother so she just feels like wow like it, it, there's just so many emotions that come with it that I just feel like I am, again, only telling it from Liz's perspective, and I am also playing with no mods. I know a lot of you mentioned Woohoo Wellness Mod would be perfect for this, and it would. It absolutely would. I play with that mod in my, like, actual game where I have mods and stuff. I love it. Like, the paternity testing, the, the pregnancy, just even finding out the father. This mod would have amplified this LP, but the reason why I'm not adding any mods in here is because when patch updates come out or when it gets updated i don't want to put this on the back burner because i feel overwhelmed because my mods crashed you know like so i just i don't put anything in here except for ui cheats and mc command center i don't have anything else going on because it just clears my conscience and keeps me you know just my ability to just play this as i please so that's the reason why i'm not adding any mods but yes it would be perfect for it <laughs> it really really would i understand that some people probably wanted to see liz you know get rid of the baby <laughs> some people probably want to see that added bit of drama and you know where it's applicable you know maybe i might dip into that type of storytelling one day and honestly no one should be shamed for regardless of whatever decision they make and i mean that so wholeheartedly when i tell you i understand i understand so when it comes to topics like these i'm very sensitive about them even though it think it seems like i rushed it and i just threw it in there for for entertainment purposes or whatever the case may be i didn't i truthfully just tell stories the way that I feel like the sim would want it to be told and to be honest I hope that people understand that I like to tell stories obviously the way that I won't want them but the way that I want my sim in question to be perceived and so you come and you see Liz and you're like god you'd never have kids and here she is holding her belly struggling and I even mentioned her being able not being able to really connect with the baby inside of her because it's her first child and she's like oh my gosh what did I do it's a constant limbo she's already here now she just she made the decision she's keeping the baby but it's just like wow like I'm really having a baby 
Um, but she just couldn't bring herself to make the other decision to get rid of the baby. And that's perfectly fine. That's Liz. That's what she chose to do. And when the baby is here, she'll have to also deal with the fact that she has no idea who the baby daddy is. So it's a lot of things that, again, this is Liz's story. And I just wanted to tell it that way. Obviously, she's not completely in control. I'm the player here. But I just want you to know that I do think about these things. And at the end of the day, these are just pixels. And I try to be as sensitive as possible because I know that everyone has a different walk in life. And all of those things should be considered. I just felt like I had to say that. <laughs> and I love you guys for being invested and loving Liz and everything. And, you know, I'm just, I'm ready to to take on whatever comes with Liz keeping this baby and the drama that's going to unfold with it you know it's just it's going to be a really crazy ride and I want to see how Liz grows as a person but without further ado let's jump into the gameplay now oh our dog is hungry and uh, it's my fault I keep forgetting to feed him <laughs> so she made herself some fruit salad and Alden is like dang like she didn't even make me anything he can hear her racking around like there's not even a word moving around in the kitchen he's like wow you didn't even make me anything <laughs> I'm going to have him brew some coffee Alden has has changed a little bit and Liz has changed a little bit I wanted to add a little bit of realism uh, Liz's hair is up in a braided pony. She had a mommy make under, <laughs> I guess you could say. Um, and, uh, yeah, she, she needed to, um, oh my God, why did, why does it glitch when I'm trying to hug my dog? Look at this. I gave her a little bit of a makeover. She is so cute. I really love this dress on her though. Ah, she's so cute. Why do I have her in a formal outfit right now? Because I'm so extra. Let me just go ahead and have her take a shower. Oh snap, it's Harvest Fest. I am literally so slow and she is feeling like super flirty right now. Um, I need you to take a thoughtful shower and just like think about the morning you had because you've been up literally since three in the morning. Uh, <laughs> but I wanted to kind of give them a little bit of makeover. So while she takes a shower, I want to pinpoint Alden's little bit of facial hair going on here. He is looking so <laughs> fine if I say so myself um his hair is still in that little you know preppy pretty boy uh hairdo but he's growing a little facial hair he doesn't have time to do all that shaving every day y'all he has turned into a grown man I love him with facial hair he looks so baby face without it but they have a child on the way and let me tell you it hasn't been easy it hasn't been easy you guys know that they got in a big fight over the baby. There are good days and there are bad days, honestly. Like, truthfully, like, sometimes they get along. Other times, Lizbeth gives him the cold shoulder. And I know some of you are probably like, oh, my God, like, why is that? She needs to list this on Plopsy. She's been killing time by just trying to get back in the candle making again. So that's what I've just been having her do. But she wants to be in a thankful spirit. She's actually thankful. She doesn't care about anything else in Harvest Fest, but she's actually thankful. I mean, before we kick off Harvest Fest, though, so we do have to um, determine the baby's gender. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're actually going to do like a little uh, gender, not a gender reveal. Um, I actually just, oh, he gave her a kiss. Wait a minute. Today is going to be a good day. Maybe because he's so excited because of the gender reveal. Um, anyway, I think I need to go ahead and head on back because I want to go to Dr. Clyde's office. I don't know if he, if I laid this lot down. I'm just going to leave all this in here. We're going to make it a really long episode because I love you so much. But um, let me see. Henford on Bagley. Let's go here really quick. Yes, I do. So Dr. Clifford is in the building. I made this lot. We're going to use this lot to actually uh, do a little bit of a... Um, we're doing a gender reveal, folks. So we are um, in Henford, Henford and Bagley. And honestly, honestly, guys, I love this. <laughs> okay, we are um, in Henford on Bagley because I wanted to go to Dr. Clifford, which is also Alden's like other doctor friend. He has a small town doctor office here in Henford on Bagley that I built. It is on the gallery at Ocean Sims. No CC. Check it out. I'm very proud of it. And we're just going to go ahead and knock on the door here. And this is where Alden is actually going to determine the baby's gender. Isn't that crazy how today is just like, we're going to determine the baby's gender today. I'm not even going to wait until the end, like when she has the baby 
be and we're like, oh, it's finally a boy or a girl. No, we're not going to be surprised. We're going to find out what it is right now. Um, Hey, man, what's up? He's like, oh, welcome to the office. You know, it's Harvest Fest and not a lot of people are here. Um, So we are going, no one is here. I, I should have made him an assistant, <laughs> but it's only Dr. Clifford here. But look at it. It's really nice. I have like three rooms and then a little bathroom. This is like the where like, you know, you would have your baby and stuff where you'll stay because it has a shower. But he's like, hey, so I just wanted to use your office <laughs> to, to determine the baby's gender, you know, because uh, it's Harvest Fest and all. We have things to do. He's like, sure, go right ahead. I know this is very unrealistic, but like, just bear with me. OK, don't don't judge me. Do not judge me. And look, now that we can relax, this is great. So we're going to have Alden sit here. Liz is just chilling on the bed. She's excited. She's like, oh, I wonder what it is. Okay, you guys are ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm going to have him come up to her. And I know he's probably going to have to stand up for this, but let's feel the baby first. How cute and wholesome is this? She's just like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Time to check the baby. <laughs> oh, wait. Let's, here we go. Determine baby's gender. Let's do this, Alden. I've never used this feature before. This is so fun. Oh, she's like, what is it? Okay. After a moment of feeling Elizabeth Proctor's belly, it is Alden's expert opinion and joyful job to announce that she is going to have a little... <laughs> oh, my God. Let me read it again. Do <laughs> let's like scale it super big and read it again. Do y'all see this? Do you see this? A little girl? Are you serious? A little girl? A little girl? I am trying so hard not to cry because I feel like, oh, girl, why are you crying? <laughs> I am clearly PMSing. This is like really getting to me because. She's having a little girl and what's emotional about it is that, you know, like her mom only has girls. She she doesn't have brothers. So it's like she's having a girl. She's having a baby girl. She's giving birth to a baby girl. It's like, is, is this baby girl going to break a generational curse or like what? Like, oh, she just gave out in the rose. It's a good day today. I'm so it's like after they found out what they were having. Oh, my God. Even he's feeling flirty with a tight titillizing. Tit what? <laughs> a tight titillo dating. Did, who made this word? Flirty banter. Just say that. Because what? What? <laughs> I need her to immediately call her mom. She's going to immediately call her mom. And honestly, mom has not been this kind of like this motherly. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to explain it Um, until this whole situation kind of like unfolded. And oop, who's that? Oh, my hubby's texting me. He <laughs> he. Sorry. <laughs> She's like, mom, you won't believe this. You won't believe this. She's like, um, I have some news to tell you. Oh, no, she's getting sick. No way. No way. No way. They may not have be able to do anything for Harvest Fest. She's feeling sick. Elizabeth wants to embrace Alden. I'm definitely going to allow her to do that because she's feeling like she wants to do that. So after, you know, finding out the baby's gender and everything, she's just excited. Just something else bringing them closer together. And, you know, just there are good days and bad days. I just keep saying that. But there are good days and bad days. Valentina was so excited to hear that it was a baby girl. She really, really was. And it's because of the fact that she raised two girls herself. She's excited to relive this again clearly oh man she's like Alden I really don't feel well oh my goodness we need to get you some medicine honey no this is not good um let's just go ahead and you've got no no I'm I'm a doctor sweetie not a leaf cutter I'm sorry maybe in the future though when I retire <laughs> like these job like this is this is just so random man it feels good out here in Hinford on Bagley she's like yeah I guess I kind of like it myself he's like I'm so proud of you babe you're caring like life right now he's one of, he's one of those people who's like caring life so Alden's hungry so we're just gonna have some let's try some cottage pie it's lactose free they honor that here is Liz hungry too she is so let's have her come in here and Mount Pro Ooh, fish and chips <laughs> she is having some cravings right now and I honestly don't know oh pumpkin scones that sounds delicious I think we may have to do it might have to be something sweet like some pumpkin scones that sounds absolutely delicious right now so liz is telling alden how incredibly happy her mom um was to hear the news about <laughs> baby girl and she's just like oh my gosh i have a sister my mom raised two girls like i'm 
<laughs> I can't even imagine racing a girl Alden. And honestly, this is like one of the first times and like moments where she's kind of opening up in that way to him. Um, I know it seems like they don't communicate often and they don't. It's a very surface level relationship. And I know that that seems very far fetched. And it's like, how do you stay with someone for two years and it's surface level? But there are relationships like that. <laughs> trust me, trust me. There are where you don't really get to the core of a person and you just really just respect and love who they are just in from what you can see you know she's afraid to open up to Alden and kind of like tell her about her past and just anything like that because I swear I didn't think we got our food guys I swear we didn't <laughs> I'm gonna order this one more time because I swear we didn't get our food um but she's kind of afraid to open up to him because she doesn't want to seem like really imperfect she already dropped out of college when they were you know in college and so you know Oh, wow, this is a pumpkin scone. Oh, that's delicious. Did he get his food? Because I really don't remember. Uh, let me just try and see that. Okay. So, Alden, hold on. Stop talking real quick. I got to eat my scone. Oh, this is so delicious. They're actually trying food from Henford. He's like, wow, Liz, you know, I could actually move here. And here's Liz, like, kind of getting a little irritated. Like, here he goes. Oh, I don't feel so good. <laughs> she doesn't feel good. I'm actually going to have her kind of like throw up a little bit. You know what they say? Sometimes they say that girls actually um, make you a little bit more nauseous than boys. Um, that's just like a little like superstition type of thing. Um, I'm going to have her throw up because I did see that she was like feeling a little unwell. She's like, oh, man, pumpkin scones was not a good idea. It wasn't a good idea. Liz is like, oh, my gosh, Alan, is this another one of those boring things that you and your dad did when you were little? And he's like, yeah, I mean, this is fun. Don't wake the llama like. Have a, have a little bit of childhood left in you, girl. Like, <laughs> but um, they're just having fun. She's like, you're not very good at this, huh? And um, yeah, so I think we're actually going to go home soon. We're not going to do much for Harvest Fest. We had a nice little Harvest Fest here. Oh, man, Alden, he forgot to send a text. No, no, don't send a text. He forgot to call his parents. Totally slipped his mind. Totally slipped his mind, man. He would never do this. Where's his mom? Daniela probably, like, I'm surprised she hasn't called us. I'm surprised Daniela hasn't called us, but we actually have to cut this short and say, hey, happy Harvest Fest, Mom. I'm so sorry. I, I meant to get back to you. Um, but Liz is having a girl, Mom. You know, we were so busy today. He's sad because he, uh, he didn't win. Don't wake the llama. Did she win then? Did she win? Oh, my gosh. The llama sleeps tonight. She won, and she doesn't even play this game. I love it. I love it. Liz is currently checking out herself because you know what? This pregnancy has made her feel super frumpy. But today, this morning, she's like, I don't want to have this energy today. I really want to have a good day. We actually moved the baby shower like an hour earlier because her mom was like, look, we have to look, we got started. I don't know. I don't know why they moved it. I know why I did because I didn't want her to like risk having her baby at the baby shower because the third trimester is so like up in the air. So I'm just having her, you know, just kind of freshen up and fill herself. She's getting kind of ready and everything and trying her best to feel confident today, which is, which is beautiful. So I can't wait to go to the baby shower and see what mom has planned for her because she, her mom has never done anything like this special for her. So it's just crazy, like, just to know that her mom, like, kind of went all out. She's like, oh, Liz, I can't wait. I mean, the last time she's done something big was, like, I think Liz's fifth birthday party and, like, her 10th birthday party, where, like, she had all, like, the girls from school that she didn't even know. It's like, Mom, how did you get all these girls to come to my birthday party? Everyone is here at her party, and I'm super excited. I'm actually going to use this, where is the mailbox? This mailbox to just cheat up everyone's needs because I don't want anyone to be feeling like this. So everyone's going to head over to the back. Looks like mom went all out. I don't even see mom, but we have a vendor here that's supposed to come. Um, I think Alden actually already called the vendor. Yep. We have a DJ booth, but I don't see anyone here yet. I know Alden actually called to check and see if they were on their way. Lisbeth's mom is just freaking out like everything has to be right. Um, and look at how everything is decorated. It's so nice. Oh wait, no. There's certain decorations that are not up that's supposed to be up. There's these stream and I don't think they're up actually oh I'm so upset oh what is mom doing down here talking to <laughs> mom is down here talking to Lyle um I don't know why but hold on oh I'm so sad so I'm not gonna do anything about it but you see these streamers here her mom actually made it so that they were on the fences as well and now they're not up here anymore so I'm kind of sad about that dang I'm so sad I'm so sad about that like I had streamers here and over here but oh well I'm not gonna worry about it it looked really cute but oh well it's okay but look at all the gifts that we have I see some gifts mom like 
Look at this. She was not playing when she said that she wanted to hook this baby shower up to UC. And then I need Alden to come over here and I need him to serve all the food. I don't even care what's served there, but we're just going to have some yummy stuff. Everyone's dressed up and she's just sitting here in her like... <laughs> in her like athletic attire she's like i've been running around all over the place i haven't even had time to get ready like he, he she's just stressed um, but i'm gonna have him go oh hi no oh, thank you you've done so much liz really appreciates it and she's like okay great so where is my daughter anyways like somewhere around here uh, she's like so how do you feel dad to be she's like you, you, you're gonna be a girl dad how is that he's like i'm so excited he's wearing pink today because of it <laughs> he's so excited um i actually think i'm gonna have him like brighten her day and just just have some conversation with her you know and talk i don't see a dj here yet oh, okay here we go nice so everyone's dancing having fun this is the most lit baby shower you've probably ever seen liz is finally making her way here we definitely need to open gifts and all that that good stuff and i need her oh my gosh look she's gonna be so irritated when she comes out here <laughs> so liz kind of interrupted the conversation and she's like i'm gonna go ahead and head over here like her sister's just there and she's like hey you know she it's just it's just so awkward um but she's enjoying the food and she's enjoying herself and she's just trying to you know make the best of the baby shower i love how alden's talking to her family more than her <laughs> um ellie hasn't really said much to her and it's just to be expected so we need to go ahead and take pictures i really wish you could like hire a photographer you probably can do that and i probably just forgot i don't know but i just need a picture of them for their phone so they can remember this day let's come over here and let's open presents with Alden. Let's just, you know, see what everyone got us for the baby. Looks like mom is trying to get us into knitting for some reason. And we even have like a little potty over here, which I think is kind of cute. I have to be sure to definitely have Liz take this home. Oh my God, she doesn't like it. What is it? It's a wolf eel. Oh, what is that? What is this, Alden? What'd you get? Um, We have a wolf eel and a fire opal. opal. Okay. <laughs> obviously this is not what we would really get you know daniela is here and she's a little drab and dreary right now i think because of our mom's house and like her not being able to control the baby shower and the event and all that stuff and i don't know she kind of just gives me those vibes like she's not gonna enjoy something as much as if she would if she made it you know happen so i'm kind of getting those kind of vibes from her oh no Oh no, I don't know if I peed myself, Daniela, or if my water broke. What just oh, happened? <laughs> now she has to take a shower. She's absolutely embarrassed. Okay. Well, the baby shower is actually over anyway. There was a reward earned, so I'm pretty sure everyone's happy about that. But she needs to go and take a shower. So she's going to go, <laughs> I think, take a shower right now. Look for some extra clothes that she possibly could have left here from her mom. So Liz is dressed. She has on some leggings. She's ready to go home, to be honest with you. She's feeling awful. I think she's actually going to come up to her sister and tell like a little self-deprecating joke um, before she like heads out. She has really talk to her sister this whole time at the baby shower and so she's just gonna be like hey <laughs> so you're gonna be an aunt <laughs> she's like dude you would not believe i'm so over this pregnancy i just peed on myself um and she did give her a hug which is really nice she's like do you guys need any help before i head out like i just peed on myself like you will not believe <laughs> Ooh, i'm so over this pregnancy you know <laughs> i wonder what kind of aunt ellie will be um i don't know why she's just kind of like standoffish someone mentioned that they don't know why liz told her mom about the whole cheating escapade thing because she's like oh man like she would definitely tell ellie and i feel like ellie could possibly tell alden if she knew but then at the same time eliana is also very like you know ride or die family like i'll hate you but you're my family and i'll be there for you when you really really need it even though i kind of hate you <laughs> so it's like one of those things too and um oh she is just like oh my god this baby is killing my back oh my goodness it is a 1 57 in the morning and elizabeth has officially gone into labor i believe she's about to wake up as we speak is she gonna wake up i don't know <laughs> yes she is she's in labor <gasps> Oh my goodness. Trip she up. is about to give birth in three hours. We need to get her to the hospital ASAP. 
Before we get her to the hospital, I do want to let you know that finally everything from Simazon shipped and they did actually go ahead and finish furnishing uh, the nursery for baby girl. I totally, like it literally slipped my mind and I'm just like blaming it on like slow delivery service for everything that they had to order offline <laughs> or online. And I love it. I love it to death. I love the way it came out and I just can't wait for the baby to get here. But we are going to go to the hospital um, just to have this baby. You know what? I would go to the hospital but i haven't had a baby at home in so long that i actually don't feel like going to the hospital for some reason um and then they have that like t-shaped glitch that the doctors do and plus my husband's a doctor the baby's coming we have no time it's we're, we're in a rush you know water birth or something you know oh my gosh poor Liz. she is ready to blow Man, she definitely has to use the bathroom. She says she's a little hungry. So, oh my gosh, Alden is probably in full-blown panic mode. Or actually, no, he's not. Alden is not panicking at all. He knows what to do. He's delivered babies before. So he's actually kind of calm, which is surprising. Um, and I think what he's going to do is say, baby, you shouldn't eat too much. So he made some lactose-free milk bread the other day. So I think she's going to have like a bite of that. Oh my gosh, she's going to give birth in two hours. Hours. She's going to give birth in two hours. Liz, hurry up and eat. Looks like he is in a little bit of a panic. <laughs> he is. And all she can think about is being flirty and doing something romantic. She probably can't wait to get it get get it on, you know, after this baby. She's she's been feeling a little frumpy. Liz was actually one of those sims that didn't appreciate woohoo while uh pregnant. She didn't do too much of that with Alden. And uh it's not like he cared anyway, because he's not really a woohooer per se. So I just can already tell that Liz has a lot of pent up. Um, you know, feelings <laughs> going on when this baby drops. Oh my goodness, Liz, hang in there. It's okay. It's going to be okay. She is in labor right now and I really need him to just, oh gosh, he's sad. He's sad because she's sad. They're all sad. <laughs> they should be excited, but they're worried. I think what we're going to do is come over here. I need Liz to just go ahead and have this baby so we can end this part and see our baby grow. Not now, guys, not now. No walk right now. Okay. Like, do you see mommy's mommy's giving birth mommy's having a baby here we go oh my goodness here we go she's having a baby she is screaming bloody murder out and is like telling her it's gonna be okay we didn't have time to make it to the hospital it's okay we'll be okay i'm just gonna get some stuff to sterilize the station so lizbeth has a very classic name like lizbeth you know some people call her lizzie liz and you know lizbeth alden has absolutely no idea what to name this baby girl but lizbeth felt this name roll off the top of her brain and she wants to name baby girl madison so Madison Proctor. I love it so, so much. I really wish we could add middle names, but I didn't give them middle names, so I'm just going to like roll with it. But baby girl's name will be Madison, so you may hear us call her Maddie. But Madison is just so pretty to Elizabeth. It just seems so classic, but also strong at the same time, but then soft. So she's going to name baby girl Madison. Alden really, really wants Liz to try breastfeeding. And honestly, she's like, Alden, I just, I feel so weirded out. I don't want to do it, you know? Um, so she's like, I just want to give the baby a bottle. I'm so tired after that. And he's like, okay, okay, it's your choice. Fine, fine. Because he knows. Don't push me. Um, I love breastfeeding. I love breastfeeding. I breastfed all my boys um, and then like eventually put them on the bottle. But Liz is like, no, no, no. I don't want to do the breastfeeding. She's kind of weirded out by it. It's her first baby and everyone responds differently. But she's like, oh, my goodness. Hi, baby. Hi, Maddie. Oh, my gosh. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> and Howden's like, oh, my God. Let me see her. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait. Let me have Liz just step back for a little. She doesn't even want to step back. She's actually, you know, Lizbeth is, like, taking it all in. And she just cannot believe, like, my baby is here. She's gorgeous. She is gorgeous. <laughs> and Alden's just like, oh, my daughter, my daughter, my baby. <laughs> my baby. Oh. Oh gosh he's excited he's so excited it's precious it, it it really is and like i i i can't alden is truly truly floored and he's so in love and he's so happy he's like oh my daughter you look just like your mommy oh my god you're so gorgeous um he just he can't believe it he has a daughter, a baby girl, and Gus is not really fond of this right now. I'm not going to leave you on a cliffhanger. If you stay to the end of the video, you deserve to know. So in the case of Madison Proctor, Alden, you are not the father, baby. 
Alden, you are not the father. Naval is. Yes, I'm messy. <laughs> Liz is messy. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. You see this baby. This is Naval's baby. But right now, she's so little that, you know, Alden's like, oh, you look like your mommy, you know, because she has a very, like, you know, warm olive skin tone. Um, but baby Madison is indeed Naval's. And I don't know if Naval saw Lizbeth's post about having a girl or whatever the case may be, but I expect a storm brewing, especially because he knows that she was also, you know, having some woohoo with him. So there's your question. Yes, you're right. Naval is the dad. And I just need to stop it right here because I'm pretty sure Lizbeth is thinking the same when she's looking at this baby. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just keep simming. Always, always, always stay wavy. And I will see you in the next video. All right. Peace out.